First of all, sorry to those who are hated and haunted by bunny man. This video is not for you. This video is about my new design since I got obsessed with the telelocator dark magic. The idea is to teleport raid bosses back to the base at a jam cost similar to Wanona's catapults. Then bunny man kill the bosses. Let's say you already have a great bunny man farm in your mega base. By adding a few modifications, your farm will be able to slaughter dragonfly. But before that, you do have to make sure your bunny slaves are imprisoned inside walls so that they won't escape. After teleporting Dragonfly back, Bunny Man will take over the fight immediately. What you need to do is to hide under a bush and blow the pan flute like a pro to help your bunny bros. The fight needs to happen when all the bunny men are alive. Remember, don't bring the boss when half of the village is dead. Bunny Man's respawn timer is one day. Also make sure the bunny men are out roaming when the fight happens. If you have friends on the same server, instead of teleporting yourself back, your friends can bring you back using lazy deleters to save some gems. In the end, the bunny man's casualty should be very low. But it's not as easy as it looks. When coming up with the design, I encountered some problems. I'll explain those problems and their solutions so that you can better understand how it works instead of simply showing you the steps. The first problem is that Bunny Man pushes the dragonfly around. They will push it out of the farm enclosure and most of the Bunny Man can't reach the dragonfly anymore, causing low damage output. To stop Bunny Man crowd from moving, the solution is to build a protective wall around Dragonfly's teleportation location to prevent Bunny Man from getting too close and pushing the Dragonfly. But the question is, how to build such small walls around the telelocator focus? When building the telelocator focus, if you carefully shift the building sites by odd number of tiny grids, vertically and horizontally, several spots will be available for walls and fences right on top of the telelocator focus. It can be one tiny grid up, one to the right, or three up, one to the left, or five down, three to the right, anything as long as they're odd numbers. Those building spots are usually blocked unless you build it that way. The third problem is the minions. Sometimes they spawn outside the protective walls and spread fire, making bunny man panic. The solution is to add an ice fling matic nearby. It's not a perfect solution, since it also paralyzes Bunny Man for long periods of time, but it gets the job done. The last one is the aggro problem. If the Dragonfly aggro on you after teleportation, she will leave the protective wall for you and then the Bunny Man can push her around again. But the solution is also simple. Throw a carrot in the cage to have bunny men surround the telelocator focuses so that they will attack her instantly after the teleportation. The same farm can also kill the Bee Queen with an additional road blocker. The Bee Queen's behavior is different. While Dragonfly actively engages in fight, Bee Queen wants to go home. That's why we need a road blocker. The road blocker is placed in the direction of her hive, because that's where she will go. You can check out its direction on the minimap.
bunny men don't need armors. Why? Because the passive bee queen will deal minimal damage to the bunny bros and give them time to regenerate health and come back. It also gives bunny bros plenty of time to deal with the grumble bees first, before focusing on the queen. One very important thing though, bee queen will despawn if she loses aggro. In phase 3 and 4, bunny bros may be too busy attacking grumble bees and leave bee queen untouched for too long. B Queen will then despawn. However, occasionally throwing a boomerang at her is enough to retain her aggro when bunny men are not available. You can use the boomerang after the queen finishes her screeching. I tried qualifants as rope lockers this time. I like them. They can be locked inside open walls, making retrieving boss loot a lot easier. Plus, polyphants are pretty common, and will never be in heat. In summary, the goal of the rope lockers and the boomerang harassment is to prevent her departure from the battlefield, so that the bunny bros can then finish her. I will demonstrate how I built the rope lockers with polyphants in the end of the video.